Are you interested in Genshin Impact, but you're just not sure where to start? This video will show you everything that you need to get the game up and running, so that you can enjoy adventuring on the device of your choosing. But before that, you might be wondering, what is Genshin Impact? It's an open world fantasy adventure role playing game, and it has a strong emphasis on exploring a surprisingly fantastic story, a robust cast of memorable characters, and there are plenty of dynamic, action-oriented battles. What do you actually need to play the game? Well, you can play it on console, PC, or mobile devices, specifically the PlayStation 4 console, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, or you can play it on your Android or iOS devices, provided they meet the system requirements. Here are Genshin Impact's official system requirements. For PC, the only part of this that has changed over time, since the game first released in 2020, is that the storage space requirements are much larger now than they used to be where they originally suggested 30 gigabytes of storage space for PCs, the game now needs around 92 gigabytes of storage space just to install on Windows. So I would recommend a minimum of 100 gigabytes of free space on your PC, and would even suggest 150 gigabytes free, just to make sure you have enough storage space for future updates to the game which will undoubtedly increase the game size even further. If you're not sure what your system specifications are, on Windows, you can search for the Task Manager application, and from there, on the left-hand side of the Task Manager window, you'll see an icon that if you hold your mouse cursor over it, it will show Performance. If you click there, it brings up a separate Performance menu, and you will see detailed information about your computer. In the CPU section, you will see your CPU's name on the top right, and you can compare that with the system requirements for Genshin Impact. The important parts to note here are the processor type, which is an i5-4690K in the case of my computer, and the processor base speed of 3.5 GHz, and the number of cores that your processor has, which in my case is 4. Just using my system as an example, you can see on the minimum configuration requirements, the processor just says Intel Core i5 or equivalent. But that is pretty vague and generic, and there are a lot of i5 processors from Intel of varying capabilities, so you are probably going to want something a little more specific than that to really tell you if you can run the game or not. For example, I have an old laptop that's about 10 years old now, and it technically has an Intel Core i5 processor, but it is only a dual-core processor, and there is no way that it could run Genshin Impact, let alone play it smoothly. And so, I would recommend at least having four cores on your processor to be able to play the game comfortably. Back in the Task Manager, you can also check the Memory section. And this will show you how much memory you have installed on your system. That number will appear on the top right of the screen as well. In my case, it is 16 gigabytes of memory. Towards the bottom of the list on the Task Manager performance screen, you'll see a GPU section. This will give you information about the video card or graphics card that you have installed on your system. Like with the other screens, the name of your video card will be shown on the top right, and if you scroll down a little bit, you will be able to see exactly how much video memory your graphics card has, which you can see in the dedicated GPU memory section. In my case, there are four gigabytes of video memory on my graphics card. Moving on to Android device specifications. Here, they have both a minimum and a recommended configuration. Once again, the storage requirements from these specifications 
were from 2020 when Genshin Impact first released. And as it is now 2025, the storage requirements have almost quadrupled in size compared to when the game first released. And you will need 34 gigabytes of space in actuality to install the game on mobile devices. So I recommend having a, at a bare minimum, 35 gigabytes free. But in reality, you're going to want more than that. Not only for the increasing size of the game as time goes on, but just for your own use purposes, so that your entire device's storage is not taken up just by Genshin Impact. I would recommend at least a 40 gigabytes free. Now, because Android devices are so varied in their specifications, it becomes a bit more difficult to make specific configurations in the system requirements, whether or not it will run on your device. And so the compatibility requirements for the minimum specifications just suggest that you need an ARM V8A 64-bit device. So how do you know if your device, such as your phone or your tablet, meets these requirements? The easiest way that I have found to find out this information about your device is to install a free app from the Google Play Store called Inware. If you open the Inware app, you'll see a list of features that the app is able to detect about your phone. If you tap on the hardware section, it will bring up a list of information, including what your CPU supports. You can see in the section there where it says supported ABIS, that it lists ARM 64-V8A. As long as you see this, you are technically able to meet the specifications on your Android device. You can also see other useful information here, such as how many processor cores your device's CPU has. If you would like to play on an iOS device, it is somewhat simpler, because by the nature of Apple devices, they have predefined specifications, so they can literally just list out the names of the exact device in the specifications, and you will be able to know whether it will or will not work on the device that you have. You can see the list here on the screen with all the models of iPhone and iPads that will work with the game. If you have one that is a newer generation of the same models that are posted here, chances are good you'll be fine playing on that device as well. Here again, I suggest a minimum of 35 gigabytes of storage space, just like with Android devices. I don't actually have an iOS device to test this on, but considering they gave the same size specifications for both Android and iOS versions, it's fairly safe to say that the installation size, regardless of operating system, is going to be about the same on mobile devices. So here again, I would suggest around 40 gigabytes of free space, just to make sure you have enough room for the game to continue to grow in size over time. Now keep in mind that these storage space limitations will continue to increase. And so if you're watching this video in the future, you will probably need even more storage space than what I've suggested here. So consider this a bare minimum for 2025 and expect the requirements to increase. Finally, in the system requirements, it lists the PlayStation 4 as well, as this was one of the platforms that was available during Genshin Impact's launch in 2020. And it will work on any PlayStation 4 model, as well as any PlayStation 5 model, so you do not have to worry about that. However, the original storage requirement that they suggest of 30 gigabytes, just like with the PC, is vastly outdated. In fact, with the PlayStation 4 console in particular, it has the highest storage requirements out of any of these available platforms. To install the complete game, including the required resource packs on the PlayStation 4 console in particular, it takes over 120 gigabytes of storage space. I would recommend a minimum of 125 gigabytes of storage space, but if they release future resource packages, the size of the installation may continue to grow even further. So keep that in mind if you're going to play on the PlayStation 4. So with that, you should have a good idea of what platform you would like to play the game on and what you will need to do so successfully. The next step is 
to actually get the game itself. And to do that, for PC, you can just go straight to the Genshin Impact website and download the game from there. What you will be downloading is the Hoyo Play Launcher and Game Installer. This is a game launcher app that works with all of Hoyo vs. Games, not just Genshin Impact. If you're going to play on a mobile device, then you will want to get the game directly from the respective app store, either Google or Apple. And if you are playing on a console, then you can find Genshin Impact through the console's digital game store. Regardless of your method of downloading, installing, and the platform that you play on, you will need to make a Hoyoverse account as well. This will require you to input your email address and create a password so that you can log into your account when you play Genshin. Genshin Impact is an always online game. Even though the majority of its content is single player focused, you will still need to be connected to the internet to play. And so it will require an active internet connection. However, aside from the previously mentioned things, Genshin Impact is otherwise a free to play game. So you don't have to pay any monthly fees and there are no additional upfront costs to be able to enjoy playing the game. There are additional perks that you can get either monthly or for a one-time fee if you find you are enjoying the game later on and wish to get even more out of it, but these are optional. Genshin Impact offers cross-platform support. This means that your save files and your progress that you make in the game is accessible regardless of which device you access the game from. So you can start playing on a PlayStation 4 console, for example, and then switch over to your Android mobile device and continue where you left off. Cross-platform support is also available when you are playing in multiplayer modes with friends online. You do not have to be on the same system as your friends. So one can be playing on mobile while another plays on PC and a third plays on console and everyone will be able to play together. And that about wraps up the basics for installing the game and you should be able to get it up and running provided that your device meets the necessary requirements and you have enough storage space. If you'd like to see even more Genshin tutorial videos, here are some recommendations from my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.